Well, hello, it's Carrie. Today I have some alcohol blending solution and a trio of alcohol pearl inks and this premium picture paper that's for inkjet printers. Look at all of this that I have. How about we test out this alcohol pearl ink on photo paper? Now I have this distress marker spritzer as well, and that's what we're going to use to blow around the alcohol ink. This is the color Enchanted, and I thought these colors were just so cute. The, the names of them, the purple one is called Villainous, and the green one is called Envy, and I thought they were just so fun. Now here I found that the trick to using photo paper is to actually put a little alcohol blending solution on first before you add the alcohol pearl ink. And then you can move it around a little with the Distress Marker Spritzer. It makes such a fun design. Now, I was told many a time that you can't use photo paper for alcohol inks, but I would like to say that these turned out beautifully and you can still see the pearl essence of these pearl inks. Now, I will say that you do have to shake them up quite a bit. The mica, the pearl mica likes to settle to the bottom of the bottles and there is a little marble in each of the bottles to move that around quite a bit. You can see here some of that pearl came through but I did feel like I needed to shake that pink one up just a little bit more, the enchanted. So now I'm going to move on to villainous which is the purple color and we'll do it in exactly the same manner. This time I'm going to try a design going across the, kind of on a diagonal on the photo paper. So I'll add the alcohol blending solution and then I'll shake on some of that villainous. That's kind of fun to say. <laughs> and then I'll use the distress marker spritzer. Now I have seen people use a straw to move around the alcohol inks or some people have one of those puffers for photography for a camera. Uh, but I found that this Distress Marker Spritzer worked just fine and I already had it in my stash. So that's kind of just a bonus. So here I just kind of went on a diagonal and you can see that there are different colors that come through just using this one color. There's some pinks and blues that also show through and I thought it was so pretty. Now I'm gonna try this green color, green with envy. And so you see here, I'm shaking it up quite a bit. It works great when, as long as you make sure that it is mixed. So this one I'm just gonna have a little fun with and drop it all over. We'll move it around just a touch here. And you'll see that just playing with these is, is kind of fun. I almost just wanna slow this down into slow motion so you can see how neat the ink moves around on this photo paper. It works great. Here I pause just a moment to turn on my fan that's over next to me at, at the desk here because you do want a well-ventilated area. I could start to smell that alcohol ink um, and the vapors a little, so make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area. Did you see that when I dropped those on, what a neat design it made? I almost left it just as it was, but then decided to move it around just a little bit because that wasn't the look I was going for for this particular project. There are so many things that you can do with these inks and it's just so much fun to play. So I made quite a few panels as you can see and on the back you can see that it did bleed through just a little onto the back of the photo paper, but I found that after it dried, it didn't cause any problems and I was still able to turn these into cards and they worked just great. I am going to be using the set from the Hedgehog Hollow February kit, which is the B set. It came with an entire stamp set that has these really cute sentiments as well, like happy birthday. And this one here is be yourself. I used some of the B chipboard also on the purple one. And then I'm gonna stamp out a little B on vellum to use for the others so that you can still see through to the alcohol inks. To stamp the sentiments, I did use stays on ink because this is photo paper and I did not want it to smear. The stays on ink worked really well, but I did want to stamp it a couple of times so that I got a really clear, crisp impression. This pink one is 
You're beautiful. I have a scrap piece of vellum here and I did prep it with an anti-static powder tool before stamping because I'm going to stamp these with black Versamark and then clear emboss them. I really like using Versamark with clear embossing powder over the top so that I made sure that the vellum itself didn't smear. So I covered it with the embossing powder, heat set it off camera, and then you can see the sort of design I have here. But I wasn't finished. Once I got going, I decided I really wanted some flowers for those bees. And so I made some alcohol pearl ink flowers using some of the same methods that I showed you before with the alcohol blending solution first and then adding some pink and purple of the alcohol pearls. And then I took the green and an old paintbrush and I just painted on the stems of the flowers. It's really so simple to do and creates kind of a dramatic flower, which I really liked. I added just a little bit of stippling to add some texture to the green portion. And then I took all the one, I thought this pink one kind of looked like a carnation, doesn't it? Just with the texture of that alcohol pearl ink, it created a carnation like flower, I thought. Anyway, so much fun to do. You can see that I just painted on a few of the flowers. Pay no attention to the purple splotch next to me on the left here. That one didn't turn out like I originally wanted to. I was going to make some hyacinths, but yeah, that one wasn't. <laughs> Just experiment, right? You never know what you're going to get with these. So here's my three, and I started placing some of the bees, and then I decided I just wanted to color some bees for these ones with Copic markers. So here you can see the finished cards. I added some sentiments with some glitter paper, and there's those colored bees with Copic markers. Just really cute. I also added a few sequins to finish the embellishments and some black paper around the edges. And I thought they turned out so much fun. So I encourage you to give these a try yourself. Thank you so much for joining me in this fun journey using pearl alcohol inks on photo paper. For some more videos and inspiration, here's a couple more that you might be interested in in and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time thanks so much for stopping by bye bye